I'm going to do a follow-up test here on some of these coax cables uh, for GMRS radio. Uh, when I first started testing this RB86 radio, um, the cable that came with it, this really thin cable, uh, had quite a bit of loss. I reached out to Redivis and gave them some feedback on the whole kind of kit here, and they ended up reaching out to me and saying they would send me a better quality cable. So what they sent me was a RG58 U cable uh, and this is a five meter cable that they sent me. So uh, I'm gonna compare that to the original cable that came with the kit. Um, and as a baseline, I'm gonna hook the radio directly to this with just a coax union. So we have pretty much no loss. And then additionally, I have this RG8X, which is a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit thicker and less lossy than the RG58U. Additionally, I do have some CB cables kicking around, so we, I think I'm going to try to do that too. I have a 9-foot RG58U cable that came with a CB antenna kit, so I'll try that as well. And we'll compare all these coax cables. Alright, so I'm going to hook this up directly to the back of the radio. And I am using a 30 amp power supply that is set to 13.8 volts for the test. And I'll just show that here on the meter so that we... Alright, so we've got 13.8 volts there on the multimeter for the power supply. Turn on the radio. And I'm going to be using channel 22 for all these tests. So turn the meter on. Keen up. No coax, just the union directly in line to the dummy load. So 27 watts on high power. And saying 9.26 on low power. That's all on channel 22. So next thing I'm gonna to go to this RG8X short jumper cable. All right, so RG8X, three foot jumper. Low power, channel 22, eight watts. Channel 22, high power, RG8X jumper, 22 watts. Okay, stepping up to or down rather, stepping down to the RG58U. All right, channel 22, low power on the RG58 um, cable, nine foot. Seven watts. Channel 22, high power, nine foot RG58U. 17.7 watts. So now we will go to the 5 meter RG58U cable. Channel 22, low power. This is the 5 meter RG58U cable. 5.87 watts. High power, five meter RG fifty eight U cable, fifteen point six five watts. All right, 
and then finally I'll be using as a comparison the original thin cable that came with the radio kit that I purchased. Low power on the thin cable that came with the radio kit. 3.47 watts. High power. 10.96 watts, so just about 11 watts. So certainly a good demonstration of using a quality coax and the appropriate coax cable for not only the power level, but you know the length of the cable. So you wanna use, if the application permits, the largest cable possible that you can. Um, obviously, you know, with a mobile application, you are limited. Uh, you are limited to how big of a cable and how flexible the cable would be. So something like the RG58U or the RG8X is probably all about you would see in a mobile installation application. Uh, so that's obviously what I would suggest. You know, I think in certain circumstances, depending on your power requirements, the really thin cable this really thin cable may be of some use to some people depending on you know their vehicle and their ability to run the cable certain places but overall i think just, just wanted to point out kind of the differences and the difference in loss between each of the cable types and the cable lengths and i'm going to create a, a table to summarize the results of this testing